All right, back to the next video for confirmation. And still working our way through the Old Testament, as we will be for most of confirmation this year, at least for 2020, definitely. And a couple of things before we get going on these next two videos. Uh, so these next two weeks, uh, we'll cover the classes that we would have met in person. And then there were several weeks off because there's this thing called Christmas. I know 2020 is weird. You haven't been able to do all the things you want to, but Christmas is still coming. So next two videos, that's what you're going to watch. The handouts are going to be coming in the emails and, uh, or the one email because we're going to give it all to you all at the same time. And so work through the handouts with your family. And then by the end of the month, email those handouts back to Pastor Bob and I, whichever one you normally see as your teacher, okay? And so you'll work through those handouts, fill out all the fun stuff, work through, take the whole month to do it. You got plenty of time because uh, your Zoom classes are all canceled for a while anyway. So you'll have plenty of time to work on all this stuff together as a family, okay? Uh, email those back, and then as we get closer to January, we'll figure out what that's going to look like, okay? But remember, the beautiful promises of God that he is there for us, that uh, his son Jesus was born, that uh, he died and rose again for you, and all those wonderful constant things about God, his promises for the forgiveness of your sins and eternal life, those are all still true no matter what goes on all these weeks, okay? Now, let's go from that back into our lessons for the Old Testament. So you watch the videos on Joshua, and I actually got his name right, so that's a success in my book because there's a lot of J names that are out there. But if you notice in Joshua, uh, we actually need to go back a little bit further to where we first meet Joshua. So as you jump into this handout and go through this lesson, you're going to see that we start off in numbers. Because remember... Remember Moses? We just finished up with him a little while ago. Moses was called to take the people out of Egypt, right? And he took the people out of Egypt and he took them to Sinai and they spent a couple of years there. And then they went from Sinai and God led them to the promised land, just the brink of the promised land, right at the edge of the Jordan River. And Moses said, okay, the next 40 days we're sending 12 all y'all into the promised land and go check it out. And what you're going to find out is some pretty interesting stuff. Ten came back really freaked out, and there were two that weren't, Caleb and Joshua, okay? But they decided not to go. Not Caleb and Joshua, but the other ten and Moses and everybody else. So God said, fine, for not listening to me and trusting my words, 40 years in the wilderness. And then we get to the beginning of Joshua. And as you work through Joshua's book, you're going to see that there's some really interesting things because the promises that were made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and then the promise made to Moses as far as the people getting into the promised land start to actually get fulfilled in Joshua. So as you work through there, really pay attention to the places. Pay attention to what happens at Jericho. Pay attention to what happens in certain battles. Pay attention to the way that God works in absolutely mighty and wonderful ways as Joshua is leading these peoples into the promised land and what they find there and who they find there. And it's going to sound a little weird, though, in some of the places, too, when you start hearing God's word about what he asks Joshua and the people to do as far as wiping out peoples that are there. See, we have a God that doesn't always make sense to us, but he doesn't have to. Remember, God is God. We are not. We're not always going to understand his ways, but we can trust his promises that he is doing things for our good. He's doing things to make things right in the end. He's doing things to take what's broken and fix it. But as we leave Joshua and get into Judges and Ruth, you're going to find out how many times uh, we just try to break things. So have fun with these lessons. Again, work forward with these with your families, and I pray that you find out some really interesting, fun things working through Joshua. And it's going to be some challenging things too, especially this lesson and the next lesson. But if you have any questions about any of those things, reach out to me, reach out to Pastor Bob, reach out to Jim, and uh, we will work through as best we can to answer those questions with you. All right? God bless you and keep you.